the identity that will make you the most money is the mad scientist. Have you noticed that mad scientists are taking over the wealth world? You know, I'm not a mad scientist. Mark Zuckerberg, mad scientist. <laughs> Bill Gates, mad scientist. Okay. Steve Jobs was a mad scientist. This new guy, Altman. Uh, not Altman. Uh, Sam, what's the guy from ChatGBT? Sam Altman? I think that's his name. Mad scientist, dude. When you talk to them, they're like, they remind you of a guy who has like beakers and he's pouring different chemicals and it explodes sometimes. You got to see yourself. So one thing one of you was saying is like, oh, Tom, I'm posting cinematic videos four times a week. And it, well, a mad scientist would be like, okay, let me post cinematic videos and then let me post really ugly videos. See, mad scientist thinks differently. Everybody else. So for me, by the way, I've posted, the most time I've ever posted on Twitter is 24 times a day. Then I, I tested that for a month, and then I tested, like, you know, once a day. And then I was posting last week, I was posting about eight times a day. Yeah, yeah eight times a day. And I just upped it to 12 times a day. That's the mind of the mad scientist. And mad scientists are taking over this world. And I think it's going to continue. I don't think it's... So I think you're going to get paid in proportion to the way you think through things in a mad scientist context. So a lot of you are very like, and some of it's just how you get raised as a child. You know, school does a lot of damage because school tells you there's one right answer. Five plus five is 10. And so you become a memorizer and you think there's these black and white answers. But then, and then you go and be an entrepreneur trying to make money. There's no five plus five equals 10 of money. There's no... Do these three things and you'll make a million bucks. No. Anybody who tells you that's a liar. Because if it was that easy, a million people would do it by tomorrow. If there was a formula to make a million dollars a month. And you could buy it in an ebook or a course. You do these three things, you make a million dollars a month. A million people would join that course in the first month and there'd be too much competition and it would stop working. So therefore... It's impossible if you use the black and white mindset. Okay? It's impossible. It's impossible. If you're a black and white, phi, what's the two plus two equals four? There isn't one. In making money, there may be one in religion. You know, if you're Christian, you have a certain belief that if you believe this, you're a Christian or you go to heaven. If you're Muslim, you're like, if you do the, I think the Muslim has five, the five, what's it called? Pillars or something, you know, go to Mecca once, the charity, all that. So there's like hard and fast rules. That's fine. I'm not going to speak about religion. Jews have Palmud, they have, you know, commandments, the old Testament, this, but that doesn't count in money. That's not how money works. Money is the person who has least conviction win, actually. Isn't that crazy? So for your kids, that's why, you know, sending your kids to school, you're literally programming, programming them for a world that doesn't exist anymore. You're teaching your kids to go and be like, maybe in, even physics doesn't really hold up to laws anymore. You know, quantum physics destroyed Einstein's physics. Einstein's physics destroyed Newton's physics. So sure, it's okay, I guess, to know two plus two is four. But what I'd rather have my kids know, what I'd rather have you all know is, hmm, I've been posting four times a week. Okay, that was, let me write down the results. I got 8,000 views. Okay, next week, Matt Scientist, let me post eight times a week. Post eight times, write down on a piece of paper what happened. Hmm, I got 60,000 views. That's way more. Look at him outside it. What happens if I post a little bit more? Let me do 10 times in a week. Or let me go down. Maybe the optimal is down. Let me try six times. Then you write down, oh, I only got 40,000. Then you look at the piece of paper at the end of the month and you go, you know what? <laughs> but why do they have to post the 10 times I got double the views? I'm going to do that. And that becomes your new hypothesis. You got to think that way, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you.
whatever book you're reading, whatever class you're in, whether it was mine or anybody else's, if somebody tells you, you know, here's the answer, not with me, they're lying to you. <laughs> they might be telling you the truth about, you know, is Sweden north of Germany? Yes, that might be a true statement. But when it comes to money, it's all uh, mad scientists. It also changes. You know, sometimes I remember when it was better to post like 50 Instagram stories. Right now, I've been experimenting with just posting one, two, or three. And right now, it seems that the Instagram algorithm really wants me, really wants us to only post like three Instagram stories, maybe five. Has anybody been watching my stories over the last year? Sometimes I was posting like, you know, 60 Instagram stories in one day. But now I've been posting one, two, or three for the last week or two. And I've been getting triple the views. Triple. So now I'm going to experiment with five posts in a day. You see how my mind works? I'm continually, I don't think like other people when it comes to making money. Experiment, experiment, experiment. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. It is possible to over-experiment, but that's rare. You don't want to test. I mean, you don't want to do... Eventually, you've got to figure out what you're going to do at life. But 365 days in a year, a lot of tests should be done. So I, I can see as I kind of slide through the... In general here, people are still black and white thinkers. You're still a brainwash from elementary, junior high, and high school. That doesn't work. It would work. I'll tell you. But what I would tell you, trust me, I got no skin in the game to confuse you. <laughs> I, I I would rather I'd rather be able to like, give us in everybody. You post one TikTok a day, you post one YouTube podcast, and your personal brand's gonna grow and you're gonna have a million followers in two years. Well, it doesn't work that way because it's a competitive game. So what happens is if your competitors start doing one thing, it changes what works. That's actually what happened. Too many people are posting. Who are seeing their Instagram views go down in the last year? Anybody seen that happen? The reason is, is there's the same amount of eyeballs looking at Instagram stories every day. And now there's 100,000 new influencers posting. A million new influencers posting. So it's the same eyeballs. They can't. One eyeball can't see 40, you know, shorts a second. So that's what happened. And recently, in the last week or two, YouTube shorts have changed. About two months ago, YouTube shorts changed. Patrick says, my TikTok has gone up. Exactly. So if you have the mind of the mad scientist, you used to be posting on Instagram, and now you're like, wait a sec, TikTok is better. I'll tell you this. You ever heard this cliche? The only thing I know to be true is change. And that that's, I know this sucks. I wish people hate hearing this. I've seen it. <laughs> I, I've gone up on stage in front of 20,000 people, 30,000 one time. What people want you to tell them is, hey, everybody, my name's Otto Beth. There's seven things to do. Every one of you will be rich. Every one of you will be the richest person in the world, even though, of course, that's impossible. Not everybody can be the richest person. Oh, do these seven things. Okay, open a TikTok account. Open a ClickFunnels account. Open a Clavio email account. And you post, you send one email a day. You make one funnel. Make sure it has the button here. Make sure it's a blue button. And here's the exact People always ask me, what price point works? Do I charge $20, $20,000, $200? I wish I could just get on stage like that. It doesn't work. <laughs> Not that. Religion is black and white. You can stay religious. You know, geography is black and white. But making money is just mad scientists trying 50 things a, a month. But who here is going to commit 
in the month of February and March that you're going to double your experiments. That's what I want from today. That was my ma- Who here is going to just say, last month I did five experiments. This month I'm going to do 10. This double thing that you did in January. That's all I'm asking. I'm not. So if you only did one, it'll be easy. This double one is two. Okay. And they're going to keep doubling it every month. But by December, <laughs> by December, you might be doing, you might have to be like my very top student. Probably my top student in the world. He's close to being a billionaire. I'm not sure what his net worth is, but probably three to 600 million. Easy. If not higher. From scratch. In five years. Okay. He has a team at his company. Of six people watching what everybody else is doing in the, in the internet and experimenting with it in his business. Any time people that help him experiment. I do that. All these different ninja mercenaries, I'm trying everything. I'm buying ebooks. I'm taking courses. I'm on Zoom calls. I'm in trainings myself because the only thing that's true in making money is that change is the only thing that is true. And as long as you change quickly, you're going to make a lot of money. Why not? Now, once again, you can over-experiment. I've seen it. It's just rare. (laughs) I have seen over-experimentation. It's just rare. That's why I don't talk about it enough. But let me end by saying, you know you're over-experimenting? One way. If you find yourself... (laughs) Having found a winner, and then you never implemented it. So if you look back, they're like, wait a second. That was a winner, and I forgot to do it. So you experiment, you experiment. You got to stop sometime. That's at most 20% of you. And most all of you are under experimenting. And I really want to change that. That matters. And so I'm glad we committed who here feels like they're over experimenting, by the way? Just put over or under. Over and under. Under, under, under. Under, under. Good. Good. One person said over. <laughs> so it looks like three people out of the last 50 people. So it looks like our ratio is six or seven percent who experiment too much now you can do this in all areas of life some of you committed to a diet way too quick you're vegan you're paleo you're carnivore you should honestly try every diet i don't see why people i've done every diet i've been vegan i've been keto i've done vegetarian i've done paleo i've done carnivore i've done you know flexitarian i've done pescatarian uh, pescatarian is a good one, by the way. Um, I've done pescatarian. I've done ova, where you just like lacto ova. You only do milk and eggs. I've done, uh, what's a crazy diet I've done? I mean, I've done like Atkins diet, which is a form of keto. So I'm, I actually know which diet works the best for my body. You should do this for love. You should do this for social life. By the way, what city should you live in? I'm working with one of my other clients. I've had him fly, you know, in the last year, he's flown to about eight cities. And he was like, Todd, what's the best city to live in? Should I live in London? Should I live in Miami? Should I live in LA? Should I live in Barcelona? And I said, bro, you, you're asking me for a black and white answer. You've been brainwashed by school. There's no black and white answers. I don't want like Sweden. I don't like Miami. You're like me. So I said, you got to get on an airplane, brother. I had this talk with him two days ago. I said, you're still not of enough of a mad scientist. And he makes a lot of money. He probably nets 300000 a month in his pocket, maybe more. So he, he knows how to make money. And I'm like, you're, I'm like, why are you asking me that? It kind of freaked me out that he's asking me that question. That's a random question. You cannot ask somebody what's the best city in the world to live in. That's a dumb person's question. How do I know? You know? I know what I like. I've been going to Scandinavia since 2006. 
every time I land in Scandinavia since 2006, I'm like, I live this place. I know where I live in my farms. Every time I get to my farm, I'm like, I live this place. Every time I go to Miami, I'm like, I need this place. Now, I do like Miami for the, the weather, but every time I'm there for more than like a week, I'm like, oh, fuck this place. Same place. I should live in my hand. I lived, I lived in the nicest, almost the nicest apartment in Manhattan. 9,000 square foot Manhattan apartment. Nine bedrooms. Crazy place. I hate it. I, that was a year. I don't even remember that year of my life. I'm like, what was going on? It was the most boring year of my life to live in Manhattan. I do not consider that. Uh, so when I got another friend, he loves Manhattan. Every time he lives in Manhattan, he loves it. So for each of you, don't pick so fast. You, in general, you should need to try 12 things. That's a good rule of thumb. The most stopping. In general, at a minimum, if you want to get married, you got to find 12 potential people that are pretty good. Doesn't mean 12 dates. You need to tw find 12 candidates and then you pick the best one. And not to have dates. Like you need to have like 12 people that you could see yourself with and then you pick the best of those 12. Now, that might be too hard for some people. I'm just telling you mathematically that's the best way. If you don't allow to do that, then you need to have 12 people you dated and then you, you know, at least for a week or something, at least more than one or two dates. Same with cities. If you really want to know the best city to live in, you should get an Airbnb in 12 global cities. You need to spend at least two to three weeks there. So you can do the math. 12 times three weeks is 36 weeks. You need to be traveling. So it might take you two years to discover. Really? Before I bought this farm, I looked at about 200 farms. Okay? 200 farms. 200. Okay? Somebody said 12 at the same time. It may not be all at the same time. I mean, you want to know the best diet? Try 12 diets and then pick the one that you got in the best shape. I got the best diet I ever had was probably 2001. Man, I was living in Puerto Rico. I fat code on diet. I dropped my body fat like 8%. Muscle was good. So I just told my team, I've been tested. I'm like, ah, we're going back to, it was 2001, 2002. I'm like, go back to that one. So we, because I'm a mad scientist, I longed all my meals, not every day, but I've longed all my food since 2000. 19 or 18. So I can go back in my database and be like, give me these meals. This is when I was a healthy. It was pretty cool. And so I've weighed myself basically every day since 2011. So I can see my body, what worked, you know? So yes, pescatarian is a pretty good one. So try 12 diets. You want to know who should be your business partner? You need to have 12 people you've done at least a small business deal with, then pick the best one. You want to know which script to use to close a deal? Try 12 different scripts. Take a month or two to experiment. Week one, do script number one. Or you, you, week two, take three, four months. You'll know. There's always an outlier. 